a day in the life of the bacteria in your gut. They are on a different schedule from you because you're eating and it's taking a certain amount of time for you, the bacteria to make their way. This is, the bacteria are all in the large intestine, which is the end of the line. Well, the rectum is the end of the line, but, but this is, um, this is a place where you, your, your body's kind of done with everything. You've absorbed in the small intestine, you've absorbed all the nutrients that you can, that, that are, your body's going to use. And the stuff that they don't want, this is kind of the stuff that you throw into the composter. The large intestine, that's the composter. That's where the bacteria live and they can use it. And they're like, oh, I'll take that. So the, 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 all your bacteria are down there in, in your colon and they're waiting for you to be done, uh, done with what you're gonna do with it. And then it's passed along. So it's a certain amount of, you know, it's like five hours before you're sort of, you know, it's making its way. And coincidentally, that's the peak in flatulence is about five hours after a meal and the, the bacteria are, uh, kind of doing their thing, because uh, flatulence is uh, gas produced by bacteria breaking down, uh, whether it, it's usually sh sugars of some kind, like uh, lentils and beans being the most famous contributors. But anyway, so they are, they're happily doing their thing. So they're, they're on a lag uh, from your schedule. So whenever you're eating, then you sort of wait a while and then they're eating. And I don't know exactly um, what else they do with their lives in there. I don't know how they pass the time in between. <laughs> I don't know how much fighting is going on. I think that it, it seems to me like a lot of gang tribe warfare going on because you, you know, when you hear about a fecal bacteria, this is, you know, if you were, a, you were a gut bacteria and suddenly here comes this whole, it's this, you know, population, giant population of foreigners. You know, so it's this sort of crazy immigration situation where there's, they're duking it out and the strongest ones win. And, um, so that's a um, global, whole global warfare scene going on. But on a day-to-day -day, uh, life in the colon, it's probably pretty mundane. It's very centered around food, a little bit of, you know, reproduction. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's a pretty, sim it's a simple life, I think. Pleasant, probably pleasant. The temperature, the weather is great. It's very uniform. It's kind of like, uh, kind of like the Bahamas in there. <laughs> you know, it's very... Uh, minus the tropical breezes, I guess. Oh no, a little bit of the breezes.